Stephen Fennick from Tech Guide with you once again, and we've got another smartphone to look at. It's the Oppo Find N2 Flip. Now, this is a folding phone. This is a direct competitor to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, and just another example of the expanding foldables market that we're seeing later this year. Samsung will, of course, unveil their fifth generation of folding devices. And there's also a strong rumor that maybe even there may be a Google Pixel folding device that we may see later this year as well. But let's take a look at the Find N2 Flip. It's, uh, it does have a large 3.26 inch display on the front there. And what you're able to do in the folded position is actually scroll through. This is so you can actually take a photo and shoot video. You can uh, look at the weather, you can take all these other little widgets that you can get there. Not, not many at the moment. We're gonna, we're gonna see a lot more. There's rumors that Spotify are gonna have a widget for this front screen. What you can also do is actually answer your calls, reply to messages. You can even pay for things with it with the find in in a folded position like this. It's got 360 NFC, so you can just tap it however you like, so that it will allow you to to do that. But but there's a, there's a lot you can do with it in the folded position thanks to this massive front screen. But of course, it's a folding device. So check out that 6.8 inch display and has a really almost, it, it's the, the crease on the device is really hard to see. I'll give you a closer look, but if I, I'll just, I'll just turn that, I'll just turn the screen down. Whoop. And you can barely, you, you can, you can just see the crease, see in here. It's it's hard to look at it when there's something on the screen, but it, it it actually is a pretty discreet crease on on the screen, and even even when you're touching it, it there's barely a bump. I know with with the the Z Flip Four, the crease is quite prominent, and even even running your finger over the top of it, it it is it is really noticeable. But the the hinge with the with the Oppo Find N2 Flip is actually what they call a teardrop hinge because the layers of the screen are, are brought together in a teardrop shape so that it can actually fold in, in, in a, a completely flat. So you can see here, there's no, there's no wedge here, like this, the Z Flip 4 and even the fold has a large gap here near the hinge. So Oppo have, because of that teardrop hinge, they're able they're able to have this so that it does fold completely flat. So it is pretty thin in the unfolded position, but once it's completely folded, no gaps. So there's a nice aluminium frame around, around the device there. So uh, I think that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big win there. That, 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 that's one up on Samsung with that design. So yeah, I think design-wise, I reckon it's really impressive. The fold, the actual hinge itself is also quite impressive. But there's obviously advantages of having a folding phone. It, it does have that large, gives you the large screen when you want it. But then when you're done, fold it in half, put it in your pocket. On the camera side, you've got two main cameras here. There's a 50 megapixel and an 8 megapixel on the front. And there's also a front facing 32 megapixel camera for your selfies through here. So camera wise, you're doing pretty well, De decent, decent quality you're getting from those cameras. But there's also, of course, the ability to have the phone in, in a folded position so that you're able to then frame up your selfies and videos. So if you wanna do videos, selfie videos or selfie images, you can do just that. But here's a feature I like. If you're taking a photo of someone, you're able to show them how they look like. So if I hit that screen there, you're you're seeing you're seeing yourself. So pretend you're this you're the camera, but you're able to see yourself in in that in that larger front screen. So you can make sure that you're posing the right way, that you're looking good. 
Uh, same thing applies for video as well. And what I like about the video is if you take up, if you do that, you've got the classic v, the, 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 the camcorder, the grip. So you can actually be holding this and then the person who you're shooting or whatever you're shooting, they can, they can frame themselves in the, in the image as well. That's a, that's a cool feature, I reckon, and just takes advantage of this whole folding form factor. Now let's move along to battery. The battery aboard the Find N2 Flip is a 4,200 milliamp hour battery, and it does last the entire day. It does. It doesn't have the the longevity of a like a Galaxy S23 Ultra, which I reviewed a few weeks ago. But the battery does get you through a whole day. It's not a two day battery, unfortunately. But the good thing about it, the upside is that when it is time to charge, you do you are able to enjoy the fast charging. So I'll I'll, I'll, give, I'll bring in I'll bring in the charger. And by the way, a charger is included in the box. So you get the, the brick and the cable for you to charge the device. When it is time to charge, you'll see that you get this nice little animation. And you can even see, if you take a closer look, have a look at that percentage growing as, as, you, as you are charging, you do, you do see that percentage grow. Let me plug it in again and show you that. So you are seeing that percentage. So the, the SuperVOOC fast charging will get you to 50% in just 25 minutes and 100% recharged in less than an hour. So that is our quick review of the Oppo Find N2 Flip. It actually goes on sale this week. It's going to be priced at one thousand four hundred and ninety-nine Australian dollars. Funny enough, the same price as the Galaxy Z Flip Four. But I'm hearing that Samsung may be discounting the price of the Flip Four, perhaps in opposition to the release of the Oppo Find N2 Flip, or maybe because they are releasing the fifth generation of the Flip devices in a few months' time. I guess we'll never know. But Oppo has done a really good job here with uh, this new device and another interesting entry in the foldable space. They've really put themselves in flagship territory here with this device and we will be really interested to see how it goes in the, in the Australian market and also around the world. Oppo playing with the big boys with the foldable devices. It is, uh, goes on sale March 16 and as I said, priced at $1,499 Australian dollars. You can read our complete review at techguide.com.au. Thanks for watching.